So, today I have brought out an AeroPress Go in a camp kit. I do have some coffee pre-ground. I would say for most people, pre-grinding your coffee is A-OK. -okay. I got about 30 grams here. I've got a big, big amount of coffee here. And this is going to be how much I'm going to throw in the AeroPress Go. So this is going to make a couple cups, you know, more than one cup. My cup in here is not quite as big, so it's going to be a, a strong cup of coffee. I usually use about 40 or so grams when I make my regular AeroPress coffee, maybe even more. So I will say that my pot here, it's a Tokes. I think it's like a 600 or 700 uh, in terms of capacity. We'll, we'll look at it. It'll tell us. But this is a little short, so you will see that when I take this out. It's still... Uh, is fine you know this bag is waterproof it's a little snug for this pot but it's short it's a little short so i could get a bigger pot but the next size up in pot i think is pretty large so this is fine this bag is waterproof like i said usually in the morning i do coffee right away and then i let it sit for a while i always take a small microfiber type cloth that i can dry it with but it's a little it's a little short so there's that so we have our pot like i said i'll say what it is this is a toke 750 so i think if you got like a 900 as long as it was you know an inch taller you'd be fine i think those might be an inch taller so we've got stove in here okay we've got our cook kit here we've got a spoon so these are all these three things are things i would normally take on a camping trip Hopefully you all can see them. So these are not included in the weight. Okay. What we have is we have an AeroPress Go. I have a metal filter. This particular one is a Cafe Concetto. I think I'm saying it correctly. I like metal filters. They just give a little bit more body to the coffee. And then we've got our, our cup here. So this is a Tox 375 milliliter, basically mug. So this is, this would be what I'm making it on, everything like that. Combined, they weigh about 7.5 ounces, so not bad, you know. Big difference between this and going out with freeze-dried coffee, you know, instant coffee, or, you know, you could do caffeine pills, I suppose, if you want caffeine. But I find, and I've tried dozens of, you know, instant coffees, and I don't like them. I don't like them. They are either really acidic which i don't like i'm more of a medium roast type person or they just don't taste like anything they're they're just i have not found an instant coffee that i've liked if anybody feels like sending me some go for it but so far ugh, none none and i've had some really good ones so essentially you've got a seven and a half ounce coffee setup here this is in my opinion a gourmet coffee setup you can go lighter and still get good coffee if you go the uh, cowboy coffee way. Uh, if you do a really lightweight pour over or if you do like a Turkish coffee. But I find for me that the AeroPress tends to be my favorite coffee system. In terms of the quality of coffee that I get out of it, I like it. It's the type of coffee that I dig. It's a full bodied, robust good coffee that's filtered nicely i don't have to mess with grounds i i can just do it and drink it not to say that there's any issues with any of those other coffee systems and i frankly haven't done turkish coffee i do have a friend on facebook that's a big uh fan of that so at some point i'm probably going to give that a shot but as of right now i'm doing the aeropress go and i would say that the aeropress go this is this is like probably the most highly um talked about camp coffee system that i can remember so you you don't have anything else that people are going goo goo gaga over but this this is it i mean people are super excited about it people are talking about it people were looking forward to it tons of people pre-ordered it so it's 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 got a lot of hype so we're basically going to brew up some coffee real quick i'm going to show you this system uh not a lot to figure out here as you know, it's making AeroPress coffee. I would say that most of you have probably seen videos of people doing like the proper AeroPress Go setup, so I'm not doing that. And I probably poured too much coffee in, or water in there, so I'm gonna empty a little bit out. That's probably a little bit more than I need. That eh, should be fine. 
doesn't have to be perfect anyways. I've already had my coffee for the day, so this is just coming out here uh, into the into the woods and brewing some coffee for you all to show off this system. So I'll fast forward through the water boiling, uh, as I'm sure you all have seen water boil before. And if you really want to see the best uh, water boiling out there, I would suggest a uh, uh, a guy named Shug Sean Emery. So his channel is going to be the best water boiling channel out there. Um, you know, he's going to show water boiling a lot and, and he does it better than anyone else. So uh, there's no point in me trying to uh, contribute to something that somebody else already does better. So we are going. So we're going to boil some water. We're going to make some coffee with this AeroPress Go. I've got some good coffee here. Not going to tell you what kind it is because I don't remember. I just know that uh, Buddy sent me some coffee from San Francisco and it's great. It's kind of a lighter medium roast, very nuanced, very nicely flavored, kind of uh, uh, fruity, uh, nutty, earthy tones. So that's what I get from it. Really, really good. It's the saddest thing about coffee is you eventually run out and you have to buy more. And if you are getting coffee from somebody uh, from somewhere else, oftentimes that coffee is kind of hard to get. So, but my wife got me a coffee subscription, six months worth from a really great uh, roaster out in Chicago. So I might have to, maybe I'll show some coffee at some point, do some coffee videos. So let's get, we're, I do the inverted method. You should too. That's the way to do AeroPress coffee. It, uh, it's better. I feel you get a better extraction, so. I do uh, inverted method, so we're going to pour our coffee in here. I think this bag is big enough where when we're done, we'll be able to plop our puck in here, maybe? Nah, it's not big enough. That's okay. Oh, the bird just flew over. I'll reuse that bag. If any of you haven't used a metal filter, I dig them. They're great makes the coffee more gritty studies say it's worse for your heart to have a uh, gritty coffee so you know I, I might have a heart attack a little sooner than most but i like the flavor of the coffee i use paper filters for a long time so i'm kind of just balancing it out a little bit ah. it's gonna boil soon might fast forward through this a little bit as i don't want it to be a 30 minute long video of me just doing coffee. We don't need to be right up to boiling. We're basically at boiling right now. I find uh, a bit below boiling is, is more ideal for AeroPress. So I'm just gonna let it sit for a little bit. Um, when I did say that seven and a half ounces, that is the weight of just the coffee part of it. You don't have to bring the stirrer. You can bring a simple spoon. So your pot is something that you're gonna cook food with. Same with your stove. All of that is 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 weight that you're going to use for cooking so with this i'm only counting the weight of the mug which i'm just going to use for coffee and the weight of the aeropress with the metal filter which uh maybe adds a little bit of weight over a couple paper filters you know like i said this is probably a little bit hotter than i would like but uh, i can cool it down a smidge by adding a touch of this water to it if I feel it necessary. But let's go for this. Now, this is not gonna be the most technical uh, AeroPress brewing. Uh, you know, I'm not out here with a gram scale. I'm not checking the temperature with a thermometer, none of that. We are simply brewing some fun, robust coffee, and then we're gonna drink it and see if it tastes good. My guesstimate is it will taste good. All right, so. Didn't even really need to stir that up much. It it, it kind of just uh, you know, kind of fluffed around as as I poured it. Yeah, you know, try to 
tilt this a little bit, okay. Now that I've stirred it, I'm gonna fill her up the rest of the way. Table's a little bit crooked there. This is more stable there. And then uh, I'm simply gonna clean the coffee stuff off of the spoon as I pour this. All right. Now with this, what we will do, let me see if I can see us here. Can I see us? Oh, we can't see a preview because it's uh, 4K maybe. So we're gonna let this sit just for a tiny bit. They call it blooming. Um, some people like to do a hard bloom, a soft bloom, a nuanced bloom. I don't know, no, it, I don't know what any of that is. But essentially what we're trying to do is we're trying to off gas uh, some of the, the gases that are trapped within the coffee. So carbon dioxide, I don't know. That's good enough for me. So we might wanna let it sit for another 20 seconds. You might wanna stir it to release some of those gases. I find that it's completely fine like this. So, we'll put our top on. That is pretty hot. Now, some of the cool stuff with an AeroPress is you can brew coffee cold. So I have done a cold press with an AeroPress and it was good. It was not as robust as my normal coffee, so you didn't get quite as much extraction, but it was good, it was smooth. So if you're out in the woods and you don't have a stove, you can still make coffee with this, with cold water or room temperature water. Uh, it's just probably not gonna be as hot. So usually I let this sit for a minute or two. So I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit here and then we will fast forward through this part. All right, let's give her a shot. So, inverted method, stirring, pre-infusion, all that jazz was at the top. Now, one thing I will tell you with this metal filter, it's a little bit harder to push down than the paper. We're getting a little, little bit leaking out the side there. That's okay. I personally push it until it hisses. And there we go. Now that's steaming hot. This water's hot too. But we get about a half a cup out of that. Uh, 375 milliliter, which I cannot convert to ounces because I have no idea. But let's see here. We got a 750, 375, 750, and we got. 16 ounces and then 24 so 12 12 ounces maybe a little bit more so it's a proper cup and then i'm almost full there i'm just gonna add some of this water because it's a little bit cooler and that coffee is just a little bit warmer than i like because we were basically at boiling boom All right, it's good temperature. Mmm, so good. All right, so <laughs> there you go. So you've got a seven and a half ounce coffee system. In my opinion, the AeroPress brews about as good of coffee as you will find anywhere. Vastly better than any coffee shop I've ever had. I used to work at a coffee shop, so I used to brew coffee for people. We would grind the beans right there, consistent grind, consistent measurement. It was a drip style system. Blah, blah. So this is vastly better than drip coffee. Um, vastly better than most methods, in my opinion. And I would say that a lot of those camp pour over systems, they, they just don't have the volume to be able to properly slurry the coffee and to get proper extraction. So taking coffee 
in like one of those small little GSI pour overs and then pouring hot water over it. It's vastly different than if you have a good large basket pour over system. A large basket pour over with a controlled pour, you're gonna get a, a real, you're gonna boom your coffee and then you're gonna get a slurry to where you have the coffee grounds kind of floating in the water um, and your extraction of not only the caffeine, the ro robustness or nuances of flavor in the coffee are gonna be way better with with like a, a Hario or a Chemex compared to the little tiny pour overs that you get for camping. So to me, I don't like those. I think they're not good. Whereas this AeroPress is really good. It's a really good coffee system. So I think that for a normal camping coffee system, if you want something that's lightweight, that's going to brew really good, flavorful, nuanced, or robust, you know, uh, full-bodied coffee, you really, you, you can't beat the AeroPress. I think it's really good. So the AeroPress Go, top recommendation from me. I hope you all are holding up well through this craziness. And yeah, we'll see you on the flip side. Have a good day.